Hey guys welcome back to the game report. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, because in today's show we are covering, Nicolas Cage may soon appear in a very popular horror game. Take 2 Interactive is delaying games, and the new Zelda game has broke selling records. All of that and more, here in Gameplay X4. Nicolas Cage makes it to Dead by Daylight. Famous actor, Nicolas Cage will be added to the game Dead by Daylight, marking the first time a real person is included. The announcement includes a trailer showcasing Cage's in-game character model, which strongly resembles him. Cage's dialogue in the trailer suggests that his character may bring something new to the game, but it could also be just a spooky line and Cage could be a survivor skin. The news appears to have leaked earlier than intended. Developer Behavior Interactive has had successful developments, including reaching over 50 million players, a board game adaptation, and plans for a horror movie. However, there was a recent misstep with a healing system that received negative feedback and was swiftly removed. Despite this, players enjoyed a surprisingly good Dead by Daylight dating sim. It remains to be seen if a Nicolas Cage DLC will be added, prompting speculation about its possibility and reasons if it doesn't happen. So, are you guys excited at the mere chance of Nicolas Cage joining Dead by Daylight? Let us know down below. Moving on, Take-Two cancels and delays upcoming video games titles. Take-Two has canceled undisclosed games and postponed others due to a challenging consumer environment, citing extended development timelines and the pursuit of high creative standards. They expect a $54.2 million impairment charge for canceled and unreleased titles. Delays and cancellations are common in the gaming industry, affecting titles like Starfield and Suicide Squad. Take-Two CEO, Strauss Zelnick, attributed the delays to consumer demand for quality and mentioned productivity challenges. Quote, the best possible way to look at it is that we're all seeking quality and consumers are demanding quality and sometimes that can take longer than expected, Zelnick said. And another way to look at it is that we're having some productivity challenges. I think people here would say it's not all about productivity, it's about seeking excellence. I think the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. At the end, Take-Two is optimistic about its future releases, aiming to surpass $8 billion in net bookings in the fiscal period from April 2024 possibly including GTA 6. Other projects in development include Bioshock 4 and Judas, led by Ken Levine. So what do you think about Take-Two cancelling and delaying future gaming projects for the sake of making good quality games? Please let us know in the comments section. At last we have, Zelda, Tears of Kingdom selling 10 million copies in just 3 days. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom sold an impressive 10 million copies within its first 3 days, setting a record as the fastest selling game in the Legend of Zelda series. It also became the fastest selling Nintendo Switch game in the Americas and the fastest selling Nintendo title in the region across all systems. These early sales contributed to the overall success of the Zelda franchise, which had already sold 130 million units as of March this year. Nintendo expressed gratitude towards fans for their continued support and excitement, emphasizing the strong momentum for both the franchise and the Nintendo Switch console. Quote, Many players are returning to Hyrule with all its new mysteries and possibilities, and with the record-breaking launch of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom for Nintendo Switch, we can't wait to see what they'll create in the game and the stories they'll share next," said Nintendo of America's Executive Vice President of Sales, Marketing and Communications Devin Pritchard. So that's all we have for today guys, make sure to subscribe to our channel and you can also check us out in our social medias which are down in the description box, and like always, see you guys until next time.